So now we're ready to begin the temperature testing procedure. There's a couple things we have to do first. We need to make sure that the vehicles run at normal operating temperature. Have to make sure that the engine is at idle speed. We're going to need all doors open. We're going to have to have the AC controls set to maximum cold and make sure that the blower speed is set to maximum as well. So we have our two meters connected. We're going to use this meter here to actually do the temperature testing. And then this one here is going to measure ambient temperature in the shop along with ambient humidity. It's mounted here on the MEPSOR antenna. That just keeps the probe away from the vehicle but still measuring the ambient temperature and humidity but just not letting it be affected by the engine. And then we have our other probe running inside the vehicle to the dashboard center outlet to measure that temperature. Over here we have the high and low side lines connected to the valves so that we can monitor the pressures while we're running the test. Here on the high side we're showing about 200 and on the low side right around 30. So now it's time to connect the probes to the vehicle. Before I do that I'm going to make sure to clean the condenser with this scrubby pad because I want to make sure that when I connect the probes to the condenser inlet and outlet that it's clean so that I have good contact between the probe and the condenser pipe and that'll help to make sure that we get an accurate reading. Now in this case eight screws and about two minutes later and I got the grill removed because I want to make it easy to connect these probes and also make sure that I have a good solid contact between the sensing area of the probe and the tube inlet and outlet of the condenser. Now you may or may not have to do that depending on what vehicle you're working on. In this case it made it easier for us. Sometimes you can put these probes right in through the grill or depending on the vehicle you can go straight down here in the front and still obtain the same readings. So now I'll connect the probes. I'll put the red probe here on the condenser inlet and the blue probe on the condenser outlet. Now you can see I have the probes connected very close to the condenser core. And the reason I'm doing this is because I want to have as accurate a reading as close to the core as possible so that I can get an accurate measurement of the temperature as it enters and leaves the condenser. Get the best results that way. And we see here we have about a 27 degree differential in temperature from the condenser inlet to the condenser outlet. Now keep in mind we're not really too concerned about what the actual temperature in and the temperature out is. What we are concerned with is how much the difference is between the two. So 27 degrees, we're actually looking for 20 to 50. 27 is great.